that is a view to die for. Beautiful. It is a view to die for. People are constantly talking about things being to die for in this game. And they never learn the lesson. How does 47 kill time? He's so used to killing people. Doesn't know how to kill time. All right. Hide, body. Hide body real quick. Anyone else coming? Let's get him behind the desk, just in case anyone comes in. Yep, she came in. She came in, folks. Oh, this is CD of hand stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hitman 3 with Outside Xbox. We're back in Sapienza for an elusive target. We've got to eliminate Richard McGee and Anthony Trout, who are a couple of shady politicians. They're somewhere here in Sapienza. We don't know exactly where because they're elusive targets. They don't show up on the map. So we're, we're trying to find two guys in hats, basically. There's a guy in a hat. Hmm. Two old guys in hats, though. We said we'd never come back, but here we are. And there are new elusive targets. According to Diana's intel, one of them is in the villa over here. Remember that place? Very grand, very big, very complicated. I barely remember anything about the layout. And one of them is somewhere else. Very dressed for the weather today, 47, with the coat and hoodie combo. Fresh off the plane from somewhere much colder. Obviously, this being an elusive target, we've not done one of these for a while. No red outlines anywhere. I've come dressed in my formal hunting attire, obviously, because um, we're out hunting for corrupt politicians today. And uh, what better outfit to wear here in the blazing heat of Sapienza. So let us have a look and see if we can find these politicians, see where they're at. It's going to be a bit difficult to spot these guys, but they're quite distinctive looking dudes. OK, so I can't obviously get in through the front doors, easy peasy. Uh, not without a change of costume. And for old time's sake, let's go. Let's go in here to the ICA safe room. There's Rocco and his sister yelling at each other as per usual. But I have the key to the ICA safe room. Ah, oh, it's so nice to be back in Sapienza. I haven't been here for ages. And, oh, I mean, it would... It wouldn't be Sapienza, would it, if we didn't go and knock out Rocco at the very start of the mission. Just like old times. Hee-hee. <laughs> ah, oh, Rocco. Remember the good times, Rocco? Rocco. Anyway, as I was saying, ha-ha! Oh, man. Just like old times. All right, let's have a run around the town. I'm going to assume they're not in the biochemical facility underneath the town. At least I hope not, because I never want to go in there again. Ah, oh, this place is like the holiday I never had in 2020. It's so nice around here. Tell you what, tell you what I haven't used for a while. The old exploding golf ball. Let's go get that. That's always useful. What do we have waiting here? Uh, mm, I haven't... Mm, okay, oh yes, exploding golf ball. That's sometimes handy. And a knife, also occasionally useful. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I can improvise with those. What can we do with a golf ball and a kitchen knife? Something, I bet. Okay, there are a lot of people wearing the same sort of hat as these guys, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, where is it? It's in the lab, isn't it? There we go. That's going to be useful. So, what are we doing? Who is that over there? Huh, interesting. Are there usually guards in the clock tower? That might be worth checking out. All right, let's go and have a look. My other drop-off point is in the ice cream parlour, where I have told the ICA to leave me a sniper rifle. So if I get in there, I'll have a sniper rifle, and then I'll really be properly equipped. So now, now all that remains to do is to sneak into the ice cream parlour basement. Which I also... Oh, no! I was going to say I don't remember how to do, but actually now I do. Oh, no! Oh, no! I forgot there was, I forgot there was a guy <laughs> waiting inside there. Okay, I remembered that you could follow a dude in through this clock tower door, but I forgot that there is someone waiting directly inside. Hmm. All right. Now, remind me, can I walk straight in here? That's illegal. There's quite a few people around. Okay, okay. There's got to be a better way into this clock tower. 
wants to drag you back down. It's important that you don't let them do that. Oh, that's him right there. Rich, it's just hard, you know? Okay, well, I was going to steal this um, waiter's tip, but uh, actually, this is my target right here, having uh, coffee with this with this guy. All right. Okay, target identified. So let's um, see where he goes. I guess I might actually just take a coin. I might need that. Thank you. Okay, well, if I stand here with my foot in the door, then the door won't close. See? And if I throw a coin, and he won't see me throw the coin because I'm hidden by the door frame. Flawless plan. Command, we might have a a cunning strategy. Over. <laughs> see, that door is normally locked, is the thing, and that's why I, need, that's why I needed to follow someone through here. Hang on. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Lovely work. Great. Great ref reflexes, 47. <laughs> this is why they pay you the big bucks. Okay. Thinking on your feet. Oh, so I'm allowed on this bit of roof, but not this bit of roof. This bit of roof, but not this bit of roof. Okay, fine. This is my way into the villa, but I know where that guy is, so that's easier. I need to find the other dude. Hello. Oh god, another one of those hats. They're everywhere. It's the hottest fashion item of the season. I'll tell you what, in the intro we saw one of the guys walking through the villa, as expected. The other guy was in the sort of town hall bit, which is over here. So... Maybe I can sneak into there? He was in like... See these offices? He was meeting someone around there, so... I need to get one shot at this. Didn't spot me. It's fine. Okay, this is the... Oh! Oh! He's a noticer. That's him. That's your man. That's one of them. Alright. Fine. Okay. Uh, what am I going to do about this then? Right. The lawyer's office is in this clock tower, right? That's what that building is there. Pretty sure. Huh. All right, well, it doesn't look like I'm getting in there. Security camera, two guards. I still think, yeah, getting across from the clock tower is probably our best bet. Let's see if I can get in from the ice cream shop. Oh, the kitchen's really crowded. I think there's another way in okay. down the, get out of the way. I think there's another way in down here through the ground floor entrance, like the basement. If everyone could just be cool with me picking this lock, that'd be great. Let's get out of this bright red hunting jacket, because it is a bit conspicuous. Uh, and then, yeah, we can put on a kitchen assistant outfit. They're allowed to be in here. That's fine. Okay, good, right. Right, th this here, now I remember, this is the ice cream parlor basement, where I'm not allowed to be, not dressed like this. But there's not a lot of people around. Oh, wait, no, there is, there is people around. There's an ice cream parlor... Um, ice cream technician, ice cream artist down here. So we'll just quickly choke that person out. And we'll put them in an ice cream freezer, of which there are several. Okay. You have a nice frosty, frosty cold nap. And then let's get this guard in here for another frosty cold nap. And then maybe, finally, I'll have some peace and quiet to figure out where my sniper rifle is. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! The ice cream man came back! Oh no, the dishwasher from the ice cream parlor, who I followed on in here. I guess he did his whole routine and came back downstairs <laughs> while I was messing around with ice cream freezers. Well, now we've got three unconscious, um, unconscious victims, one of whom was a witness. But, you know, it goes against my code to snap his neck while he's unconscious, so I guess I'm just going to steal his clothes and put him in a freezer for a frosty cold nap. He'll be fine. Before you say that it'll kill him, n he'll be fine. Now, we're going to start making our way up into the clock tower. If that's okay. Just a kitchen assistant just going up to the kitchen. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, I thought so. It does look a bit security, security camera-y up here, doesn't it? Is this... Where is the security camera? Oh, man. Yeah, this is the lawyer's office. 
All right, well, I can't pick that because there's a security camera looking right at me, but I can shoot the camera, right? Not a problem. All right, good. Just, uh, just let myself in. Okay, what have we got? Lady over there. Oh, God, here he comes. Here he comes. Right, okay, he's in the office. Huh. Stop that! Stand up! Okay. It's <laughs> good. Man, that is as good at his job, that guy. All right. Okay, there's something to do with this guy's trust fund, but really, none of that has any relevance to me. We're just here trying to trying to get that guy who is now moving into a different part of the office, which is bad. I might do better not dress like this. I might be able to go in. There was a guy down here, wasn't there? Let's see if we can put his outfit on and see if that's any better for what we're trying to do. Let's pop a coin over there. And hope that this guy doesn't come. Because this guy does wander around a lot. So let's just keep an eye on him. And then, quick as we can... Oh god, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving, he's moving. Ah. Ah. Alright, no, we're good, we're good. Okay. He's got a load of guards and all sorts going on, and whereas normally I would uh, take the risk, there's no do overs in an elusive target. I need him to isolate himself. But that's definitely that's definitely our guy, isn't it? That's one of them. Is he just going to sit there? No, he's moving. He's on the move. Okay, he seems to seems to just move between these two rooms. If I can get up to the top bit, maybe. Then maybe I can oh, He's right over by the window now. Okay, you know what, let's try a different approach. Hello again. Because that's the window he was just looking out of, right? That's him, isn't it? That's definitely him. Yeah, he's having his little hissy fit with his friends. That lady's telling him to stop being an idiot or whatever. Hi there, how you doing? Hello. Okay, now... Once we've tidied, like so, we've got the place to ourselves. I'm not appropriately dressed for the ice cream parlour, but it's fine because I won't be here long. I just need to find my things. I've got a key, that's good. And, oh yeah, here it is. Here we go. ICA stash for me. I'll take that. So I can't, I can't put it in my inventory. I actually have to carry it around. But that's okay. I'll just leave it where I know I'll need it. Once I've figured out where I'll need it. Okay. I'm going to get up high for a, a better vantage point. If I can just creep around this security camera grid. Uh, where is that security camera? It's, it's not in my line of sight, is it? That's a, that's a drag. What a pain. Can I... I don't even think I can shimmy around it. Nope. I can get that door open. That's good. What can I see in there? Oh, no, that's that's the ice cream place. That's no good. That's no use to me at all. I don't think my target's in there enjoying some chocolate ice cream. All right. How am I going to get... How am I going to get this building without being seen by the old camera? Oh. Oh. Oh, you know what? Oh. I thought I got away with it there. Ah, and again. Damn it. God damn it. I thought if I was, like, quick and crouchy, maybe it wouldn't recognise me. Wishful thinking. Oh, yeah. Get a good look, camera. Get a good look at my bald head. It's fine. I'll just have to destroy the security footage before I leave. There it is. There it is, you little rascal. Okay. I'll just take you out. Just for, just for old time's sake. 
Now, can I go into the lawyer's office? Okay, that guy's going to notice me now. Which isn't helpful. He does move, though. Alright, yep, there we go. Hmm. Yep, not trespassing. Great. Great. Don't listen to her, Keith. You have to be your own boss. Yeah, Keith. Why don't you stand up for yourself for once in your life? Is that my target in there? What's in there? Who remembers what's in here? Gosh, it's been a long time since I've been in Sapienza. Such a big map. Well, I've got the key off that other guard. And... Do you know what? Oh, okay, he's not my target. But he does know I shouldn't be here. But he's going upwards, so that's good. He's going up to the roof or something for a smoke break. While the way is clear, let's get in here. Now, from the briefing video, I recognise that dude on the sofa is not my target, but he is meant to be meeting with my target. Yeah, I'll take your desk scissors. Souvenir for 47. Okay, now. There we go, friends. That dramatic music and that man's hat tells me everything I need to know about whether or not this is my target, which it is, the so man in the white suit. Serious. There he is. I wonder, I wonder, if I use my exploding golf ball and throw it up into the air, will it, will it kill him? I mean, not if he's not there, obviously. What's through here? Uh, guards. More guards, but possibly another way out. Uh, but also a noticer. Right. If I... Hmm. There's a lot of through traffic. A lot of foot traffic through this office. Which is lovely, by the way. Well done. Congratulations. You've got a drinks globe and everything. So there's a lady checking the bookcase. And there's a fella behind the desk. And there's the man in the white suit. Well, she's gone. He's still here. Oh, and he's gone. My target's gone to the other room to shout at someone. So I guess this is my chance to thin the herd a bit. And, um, well, I guess I didn't need this sniper rifle anyway. But I'm a bit loath to leave it behind. What else have I got? Golf ball. What if I go under here? And then he gets that window. Big explosion goes off. But does he die? That's the question that we're about to find out the answer to. Oh, no, I don't want to throw it at him. There we go. Let's throw... Wow, it worked! It worked! Oh, gosh, but everyone hates me. Okay. Oh, wow. All right. Fine. Honestly, I wasn't really expecting that to work. So, um, cool. Good. Result. <laughs> okay. So we do have a few people in this room. But actually, not that many people. Especially... If we choke this... Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't think he saw. 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 Excellent. How did he not see? All right. Hide. Body. Hide body real quick. Anyone else coming? Get him behind the desk, just in case anyone comes in. Yep, she came in. She came in, folks. Oh, this is CD of hand stuff. Okay, just real quick. Target down. One more to go. Man, that was that was hairy. Woo! <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Would you throw yourself on a grenade to save me? Not now, friend. I'm busy. <sighs> okay, everyone keeps coming and going, making it very difficult for me. And yeah, okay, she noticed me crouching. What if I can take him out without mm, without her noticing? What do we reckon? Oh, no, he's back. He's bloody back. Okay. All right, if I can just confuse him, just interrupt his AI enough to bring him over here. I want to get I want to get him in this box, ideally. 
while Shouty Man goes out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we- Oh, no! He turned- He bloody turned around! Okay. All right, hopefully no one heard that. A lady in the green dress is outside. A man in the white suit is outside. I might have gotten away with it, except... Except I don't know that I did. I feel like someone heard that. But they don't look like they're panicking over there. And I'm not panicking, so maybe I can just style it out, you know. Oh, no! Oh, no! No styling it out! Okay, they're on to me. They're on to me. Cheese at 47. Um, what have we got? Coin. Sniper rifle. Scissors. Yeah. Okay, F it. Scissors away. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, job done. Okay, I'll tell them I did something much cooler and more composed uh, at the debrief with Diana. Uh, they're searching, but I don't think I'm compromised. That was surprisingly okay. Wow, exploding golf ball, you really came through today. Wow. I still can't quite believe that worked. Good, right, where's the other guy? I'm looking for another guy in a hat in the Caruso mansion. Uh, let's go... Let's pop into the Caruso mansion and see if we can see anyone also wearing a hat. Brick might be useful. Hmm, uh-oh. Whoa, ooh. No, that's a different type of hat, Mike. It's a different type of hat. I could do with an outfit of some sort, couldn't I, really? I can grab one from down here. This guy's will do. Clonk, brick to the head. Let's get you in this cupboard. In the box, why not? Why not? Go the whole hog. And then disguise myself as a housekeeper. Perfecto. This is going swimmingly. Didn't even have to infiltrate for the other one. I just literally uh, lobbed an exploding golf ball in broad daylight in the middle of public and everyone was fine with it. Okay. Just going to take a second to breathe. And then we're going to move on to target number two. Now all we need to do is wait for this guy to move and we can just go out the way we came in yeah and then we're heading to the Caruso mansion I guess so I'm already dressed as a mansion guard so that's that's good that's something yikes man that went sideways fast but it's fine because look here I've got a completely uncompromised outfit um, except for the dude, the unconscious witness. Um, otherwise completely uncompromised. I'm in a nice clean outfit. I've got my sniper rifle. And if we can just leave this building... Oh, someone's looking at me from it. The nice thing about Sapienza is there are sort of like discreet areas that I will never have to come back to. So let's never ever go back to the ice cream parlour. What about that? Uh, that's a write-off. Now. Okay, well... Following that success, let's um, go for the one-two. Let's pick up the two-piece for today and head into uh, Caruso's villa. Um, I didn't mean to ring that bell, but I can go through the ICA safe house out onto the roof. And now it's coming back to me now. I can jump down here. Oh, no, my bloody sniper rifle briefcase. Okay, wait for me. I'll come back for you. Um, if I remember rightly, then... Uh, yeah, there's a knife, but more importantly, there we go. Oh, oh, you know what? Um, if I drop some scissors here, I can sort of frame whoever lives here for the murder of my first target. There you go. Stage the crime scene. Okay, here we go. This is what I was looking for. The guard outfit. The other guard outfit. The mansion guard outfit. So this will get me into the villa. If I can just collect the old sniper rifle. And over here is a way to the villa. If I just... Oh! Oh! Oh, there's someone there. Hello. Hi. No. Oh, but my sniper rifle. I hate myself. Okay. Wow. Dramatic. Okay. Uh, sniper rifle. To be kidding if I want it to come with me, I'm going to have to get it down off this roof. And I'm apparently not allowed to just carry it down. So we're just going to have to just gently huck it over the wall. 
There we go. Lovely. No one even noticed, I assume. Went to all that trouble. I'm not going to leave it behind now. Okay. Okay. I like my white gloves. They're, you know, they're either housekeeping gloves or they're murdering gloves. Any sign of a guy with a hat? Is he hanging out with Silvio Caruso? There's a noticer. In fact, but they're just, I think they're just regular noticers. Wait, is that? No, that's a different hat. Oh, that's him. That's him. That's your man. Right. How to deal with him? How best to deal with that guy? Well, probably, if I've exploded one, just for sort of poetic irony, I should explode the other one as well. Maybe we should follow the hat guy around and see what his patrol route is. Yeah. Oh, look, a garage. I don't think I've ever been in the garage in Sapienza. <laughs> But if you were going to leave propane around, you'd probably leave it around here, wouldn't you? Hmm. Wait, I'm in, I'm in the gardening supply bit? But I'm not allowed to be in here, apparently. Ooh, poison. It's always useful. Why am I not allowed to be in the... I'm a housekeeper. Surely it doesn't matter if I just pop into the garden bit every so often. And apparently this is... Not allowed. <gasps> but there's my... There's my propane tank. Oh, can I reach it without being spotted? Yes. Nailed it. Right, I'm out of here. Fine. Fine. I've got my propane flask. All right, well, no sense in going in the front door if I don't absolutely have to. Let's just hop the wall um, back through Rocco's apartment building. Oof. Good thing I checked. That could have been embarrassing. Alright, this is good. I'm not trespassing. Which is what I was hoping. So, good news. Is that... Oh yeah, there's, there's your man. There's your man, Trout. And we're back. We're back and carrying the sniper rifle and avoiding the security camera grid and getting into the mansion where I believe we will find target number two. Speak of the devil. I know it's a man in a hat, and I believe it's that man in that hat. That's our target. That's target the second. This is Anthony Trout, so let's um, follow him, shall we? So Mr. Trout has two bodyguards, and me, if you count me, incognito, as a sort of freelance bodyguard. And we're going on a tour of the wine cellar. Bit of a theme lately, bit of a hitman theme. Are we just passing through or are we doing a tasting? Do you know what? I think we're going to try some wine. If only I'd brought some poison with me. Would you throw yourself on a grenade to save me? Why does everyone keep asking that? No. Oh, here's the what is where I would poison him, isn't it, Congressman Trout? Oh well. Didn't bring any, so um Sorry. So that'll be a no poisoning today, unfortunately. Poison free wine for you. Mr. Trout. This is a particular oh. Oh, if only there was some poison through here. What if we were really lucky? No, it's a laundry room. Very little poison. Oh well. And you know what I could do though, is maybe if I could peel off one of Anthony Trout's bodyguards, I could make my life a bit easier further down the road. So let's see if we can coin one of the bodyguards into this laundry room, yes, like so, and then, wait for the door to close, wait for the door to close, wait for the door to close, yes, and then, wham, briefcase to the head, I sure hope that sniper rifle is doing okay, it's getting a bit of a battering inside that briefcase, pop you in there, and uh, tidy up after you. Now where's the guy in the hat, where does he go, what's his patrol route, where's the best place to leave this, <laughs> where are you trout, where are you? You're a slippery one, Trout. You're the one that got away. Just off to refill the barbecue, guys. Don't even worry about it. Oh, guards. Caruso's bodyguards. Oh, there he is. There he is. Is he? Yes. Right. Now, we just need to follow him. All stealthy-like. 
I could just brain him with it now and then shoot it, but I don't think I would survive. Even with my excellent hitman skills, I think I'd be mown down in a hail of bullets. Back to the briefcase. It's like my safety briefcase now. It makes me feel safe. I just like to carry it. Again, I, I don't know if it's going to get any use because I am about ooh, six, seven foot away from my target. Very little call for a sniper rifle at this sort of range. Huh. Bodyguard's thinking, weren't there two of us? Wasn't there one more than me? Where's my friend, the other bodyguard? Hmm. Okay, if I could peel off the second bodyguard, then we'd be alone with the target. Okay, wrench. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's no screwdriver, but I'll have it. And out we go. Out we go. Is that it? Is that the whole lap? I guess probably we go in through the front door of the villa, don't we? Ooh. Oh, you know what? I'm starting to form an ingenious plan. If uh, Congressman Trout's route takes him in and out of the villa and back down to the wine cellar every so often, if I can get up this tower, then maybe I could use the sniper rifle. I've just got to get... Do you know what? I don't even think I've ever even been in there. So I think we're, we're good. We're in a control position. Let's just um, keep an eye out for notices. Oh, boy. Okay, so he has a couple, he has a couple of guards with him. Where? At least two. Well, there's a lot of, that is a lot of security. So much security, their AI routine is getting bunched up in doorways. Maybe pick these folks off one by one. Would anyone investigate a coin? Any of you fancy investigating that? Okay, that's good. That's one fewer. One fewer guard. And a box right here. Now, is this is this disguise going to be any any better? I wonder. Or is no? I'm trespassing. Apparently. Okay. Fine. I'll be mentioned security again. Jeez. It is a view to die for. People are constantly talking about things being to die for in this game. And they never learn their lesson. So I could put the propane flask down here. How are you, bus boy? And know that he will probably come back here a bit later on. But let's see where else he goes as well. Little cakes. Right, he's off back outside again. Is he going to go and look at the the view again. Has he got a very, very limited patrol route? He is, isn't he? Right, well, I guess that's our that's our option then, isn't it? Basically, if we put a propane flask just on the floor there when he's not here seems totally doable. Wait till his security leaves. Yeah, whatever, man. Well, I'll see ya. Ah, oh, there we go. Just as I was hoping. There's a little ledge for getting up into the into the tower, the sort of ruined tower. Oh, of course, I can't bloody do it with my... I can't climb with my briefcase, so you know what? This is going to take yet more briefcase hurling. If I can get it through that little sort of slit window there. Yes! Yes, 47. Extremely accurate briefcase throwing. Okay, and chin up, unassisted, chin up. And in through the window, and I assume... Where's my briefcase? Where's my briefcase? Oh, there it is. Good. I assume we can get to the top from here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, excellent. Very good, very good, very fine. Oh, okay. All right, they've posted a guard here in the, um, in the ruined tower. That was very cautious of them. So suspicious. Paranoid, even. Okay, all right, well, that's fine. They, they don't mind that I'm here. They don't know any better. None the wiser. So, if I'm hiding here, if I just gently, gently drop that. And then, oh, I might need to get rid of this lady. Let me do the old coin trick. Just let's see if we can get this lady out of the way. Okay. And she's going to come around here. And then if I do another one... Great. 
Yeah. Come on, come and get your other coin. No, 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 come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just your luck. Two more coins. Definitely nothing suspicious about this. Oh, come back. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Right. Let's drag you over here. Hopefully no one will spot you. And then... Just need to wait until that guy... Let's shut this door as well. Oh, God, that door was opening. Oh no. Okay, that's gone wrong. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, he's off again. Brilliant. This security detail, I tell you. Alright. No, 47. Drag the body. Jeez. Okay. Minimap says no one nearby. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So... How is his bodyguard detail looking now? What have we got? Where'd he go? Where's he gone? I do not have eyes on the target. Oh no, wait, there he is. Uh, there's a notice around the door. There's an unconscious witness. Come on, buddy, come look at that view quick. Was she literally coming out of the room that the guy was in? Oh man. I'm going to have to try and remove her because she's in a, an unfortunate position right where I don't want her to be. Come on, before everyone comes back into the room, let's get you in this box here. Yep. Okay. That was close. That was close. Right. Now, we just have to wait. We just have to wait. I've got a perfect overlook. I've got great overwatch uh, over the front door of the villa, which is ideal. Now I just need to clear these people out so I can work in work in silence hmm okay okay friend you're gonna take a little nap a little nap on the top of this tower lucky you wish I could take a nap here on the top of this tower in the sun in the Italian afternoon sun sounds idyllic right and then our friend here the second guard now I've learned my lesson don't try and punch anyone or choke them out on a stairs because you end up punching them in the butt. We don't want that. So there's a tip for all of you. Don't try and choke people out on a stairs or an incline. Okay, now we're back to our briefcase. Time to assemble the sniper rifle. And now we wait, possibly forever if he doesn't come back. But I've got my faith. I've got my faith in the, the clockwork of Hitman. Time's a flat circle. Everything comes around. Okay, we'll just... Okay, keep him inside. He's got a hat on. It's a pretty noticeable silhouette. Hello? Okay, he's over... He's over that side of the hallway. And the hallway is... Fine for me to cross? Yes? No, 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 it's not, it's not at all. Who is that? Who is that? Oh, that guy. All right, 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 right. Got it. Okay, let's try getting across the hallway without being spotted. Okay, this is a good room. I like this room. Oh, he's, just, he's going back into the room I was just in. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I've got a little bit of time, so let's just do a little tidying. Um, just in case anyone wanders up these stairs. If I make a little pile of unconscious bodies at the top of the tower, then I don't have to worry as much. Um, because the game will only be given away if someone gets up here with me. There you go. There you go. Nice and comfy. Get a little sunshine on you. The good news is I have so much patience just hanging out 
waiting for the target. And I can just spy on people. That's the thing they don't tell you about being a, a sniper. Yes, patience, but also I get to watch everyone go about their day. Look at that. What a beauty. Just so serene and placid out there. Two. Two sailboats. That one's a little one. A little sailboat. Three. There we go. A third sailboat disappearing behind those trees. Where's our man? I'm bored of waiting. Is he coming back in? There he is. Right, why not check out the view, Anthony? <laughs> why not check out the view? Right, let me get into position. Right, he's just down there. I'm just going to get into position. Into position, as we call it in the trade. Right, about here. Is he coming? Is he coming round? Is he coming round? Do you want to admire that view? If he trips over the propane flask and his pathfinding gets ruined, I'm going to be very upset. Oh, he's going the other way. Come back. Oh, boy. All right. I want to stay clear of those three. All right. So the only thing standing between me and killing this guy is this guy here. Can I distract him somehow? Bring him over here, maybe? Your turn to take a look. Sure thing. Okay, he's going to go investigate over there. I can crouch here all day if I have to. Nope, no sign. False alarm. Uh, nothing. Thought I saw something. False alarm. Uh, false alarm. Gosh, what I brought a radio or something? Um, forty-seven. How do? How does? How does forty-seven kill time? He's so used to killing people. Doesn't know how to kill time. Doesn't know what to do with himself when there's a bit of leisure time. Oh, picking up knives. Yeah, that seems about seems about my speed. Come back out and admire the view. It's lovely out here. You don't want to be down in the basement. It's a good job 47 can see through floors and walls, isn't it? Pretty useful skill to have. Okay, he's outside. He's outside. Action stations, everyone. Action stations. He's coming up. There's my propane flask. Perfect. Everything is set up. He's looking out the window thinking, oh, I should really go and admire that view a bit more closely. Yeah. Choke this guy out, and then I think we have a clear line. Be having any of that when I'm president. president, huh? How about this? Done. All right. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Uh, doesn't look like there's anywhere to hide bodies in here, but we're done, right? So, oh, let's just, let's just, how about we just leave? It's an elusive target. If you can get it done and get out in one piece, you can count that as a win. So, um, I'm just going to go. Nope. No sign. Anything else? There's another ruined tower over there with some more guards in it. I remember that. Oh, 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 nearly missed him. Wait, hang on, hang on. Now's your time. 47, go. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. He's down, but not out. And there I go. I got him in his Achilles knee. Here we go. It's magic time. Okay. Oh. All right, okay. Got to get the angle right. Got to get the angle right. Here we go. Boom. completed. Oh, he didn't go in. He's just sort of slumped on it. But he's dead. I'll take what I can get, to be honest. And his guards don't know what the heck happened. Nothing to report other than <laughs> the person we're supposed to be running security for is dead. <laughs> Going back to guarding his corpse. Fine. All right, there is a notice to come in, so I should probably leave, shouldn't I? Where are my exits? And he's dead. Yes. Whew. I nearly missed my target, but he's down. He's down and dead, and oh no! I guess they figured out that the bullet came from this location, and they are tranging, triangulating my position. <laughs> Got to get out of here, 47. Run! Out through the window, out the way you came. Hurry! Okay, where can I get out? I can get out here. Oh no! They've already passed me. Oh, but they seem to not mind. 
Oh no, they do mind. They've identified me. They figured out I'm not supposed to be here. Um, but that's fine, because I'm already at the window. No, no, 47, don't panic. Don't do a panic chin up. Drop, drop now. Oh God. Two explosion kills, folks. We nailed it. We nailed it. I'm going back and get my suave Italian outfit and um, head on out. Oh, should we ring the bell for a successful kill? Right, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, um, forget the sniper rifle. Just run. Just just run, 47. Just... Where do we go? How do we get out of... 40 How do we get out of Sapienza? How do we get out of Sapienza? I do not remember. Um, well, there's, a, there's an exit all the way down there, down by the beach. So, I guess let's run all the way down to the beach. A body has been found. At this point, it doesn't really matter, though, does it? Let's pop in here. Let's get my... Italian suit back on. Nip out before she sees me. Out the exit. Up and out of here. Well, Sapienza, it's been lovely to come back. Really enjoyed it. It's been like a little mini holiday. Mini lockdown holiday. Where's that little car I used to escape in? Has that gone? There used to be a little car I could escape in. This isn't even an exit. The exit to the town isn't even an exit. Fine. Okay, well I think that went pretty well. I mean... Got spotted by a security camera. There was a slight... He turned around at exactly the wrong moment right at the end. But, you know... He's dead. Who's he gonna tell? No one. Exactly. So I don't think that counts as having been spotted. Because dead men tell no tales. Am I right? I'm right. Let's go. Yeah, there's a boat, isn't there? There's a boat on the way out. I hope I don't need the keys. I don't think I need the keys. I think if I just run down the pier, I'll be able to escape Sapienza by sea. Oh, okay, well that was two elusive targets. A little bit, how shall we say, uh, panicked. More panicked than I would like, but just as successful as I would have hoped. There we go, let's get out of here, 47. Well, there we go, what better way to escape than in a cool speedboat. See you later, Sapienza. It's been real. One star? One star? In tw that was a 25 minute double target. Skillful ICA assassination. One star? What's wrong with you, game? I'm outraged. <laughs> no, I'm sure I messed it up sufficiently to get one star and deserve it, but um, but still, the principle of the thing. I'm, I'm steaming mad. One star? Come on. That was amazing. I think this game's got it in for me. I think that was at least a two-star performance. All right, four stars. I probably could have erased the tapes, but it's an elusive target. I get nervous. I get antsy. Once you've offed one of them, that's it. You're locked in. So I will take it. I'll take my four stars. I'll take my personal best mission score. And leave it at that. So thank you for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. Do like and subscribe uh, for more Hitman from outside Xbox. And we'll see you next time. Bye.